Hey, good morning, fam. Um, obviously, I'm not here today because, well, there's a substitute. I've got a sick child at home. So I uh, just need you to do a couple things for me today. Everything will be on Google Classroom. Um, so you need to have your notebook out in a little bit. You need two blank pages. They're going to have to be back to back because we're using both of them together. So keep that in mind. Uh, and just a friendly reminder of my expectation for the substitute. I need you to be extra good um, and uh, just do a really good job. Make me proud. All right, so here's what we're going to do today. You're going to take some notes on sections 3 and 4 in the textbook, uh, chapter 17. We're looking at how the progressives try to fix these issues. Um, so that's what we're doing today. We're going to watch a video as well uh, in addition to this one. You're going to watch a crash course video, but that's that's what we're going to do. Everything should be on Google Classroom, so um, it should be kind of straightforward, and you can walk yourself through it. Friendly reminder, uh, many of you still owe me a chapter 16 assessment, so make sure you get that done. Let's not... Let's not let that hang out there. Uh, I'm hoping to get these graded in the next couple of days. And when I, when I get the ones graded that I have done, um, I'm going to put them in the infinite campus. And the ones that are missing and going as missing, it will look like a, uh, uh, it'll look like a zero in the grade book until you get in. So don't, don't leave these hanging. Get them in. Okay. Just to refresh where we left off on Monday, looking at the progressives, and they're a group that want to improve society by promoting social welfare, protecting the environment, making government more efficient, and especially more democratic, less corrupt. Uh, that's who they are. They're activists, so they're going to use political action to achieve these reforms. Basically, government is the only thing that's big enough to solve these problems, and that's what they want. Remember that social, the social gospel... You know, this idea that you help others out who are less fortunate, you mix that in with the ideas from the populace, remember? We are farmers, we're angry, and we want some change, right? Those ideas plus the social gospel combine to uh, create progressivism, uh, and they reject the belief of social Darwinism that only the fittest will survive. Um, they say that the people who aren't as fortunate, it's not their own, it's not their fault um, that society's kind of put them in that predicament. So we want to reject that. Okay, so just just a quick little review. Uh, what I want you to do then is. Um, go click on the Crash Course video. This is um, Crash Course, you know, John Green on progressivism. There's a handful of questions in there, so I want you to answer those as they pop up. Um, this should take you about 15 to 20 minutes, something like that. So um, go ahead and pause this video now to do that. All right, now that you're done with the Crash Course video, and, and you should have gotten some good information out there, a little bit of review, but also... Um, some good information from chapter, chapter 17. Also looking forward a little bit to the presidents, which we'll handle here uh, in a couple of chapters. Uh, that's really good information about uh, the progressives, okay? What I need you to do now is open up your notebook, or at least turn to those two pages. I need you to make it look like that, okay? There's section three, progressives fight for social reforms. Section four, progressives push for political reforms. And section five, progressives confront social inequality and make those boxes you got the square which is a, where the problems are and that's really recapping chapter 16. Um, the box with the rounded corners or rectangle with the rounded corners those are the progressive solutions this is kind of what they wanted to get done um, not necessarily what they did get done but the, what they were hoping to get done is in that going to be in that box and then the oval on the next page is what they actually got done the enacted reform what did they actually accomplish and then finally on the end is the box with the grade we're going to or you're going to give them a letter grade for each of these um, sections like how did they do as progressives of fi fixing these problems so i want you to make your notebook and then start reading in the textbook um, you're going to read section three first which is page 198 to 199 as you go through it you're going to fill out that top that top line of, of notes from the problem to the solutions to the enacted reform and hold off on giving them a grade. But once you get done with that section, then go down to section four, which would be on page 200 to 201. You're going to read, you know, the, again, the problems here, uh, the solutions, what they hope to get done, and then what they actually got done. So work on that stuff. We'll pick up here tomorrow with it. Um, I don't expect that you'll get all of these things done, but it, this should keep you busy. Um, for the for the remainder of class for sure. Uh, remember again my expectations for you as we go through today uh, with the substitute. So I appreciate it, fam. I uh, hope you all have a good day, and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Make good decisions and be good Americans.